34 millimeters in brushed and polished stainless steel, this Rolex, like all of the watches featured on our YouTube channel, represents actual inventory in stock and available for immediate purchase and delivery on our retail website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest news, views, and reviews of luxury watches in daily video format, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now this is one of the legendary white whales of Rolex collecting. Manufactured entirely by Rolex, that is, even the customized dial made in-house by Rolex for Domino's Pizza, it was part of a special program from the mid-80s to the present called the Rolex Challenge within Domino's. So you can't simply buy this watch, but you have to be a top performing franchisee exceeding target sales rates for four consecutive weeks in order to earn the Rolex Air King Domino's Pizza. And you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch wears with wonderfully modest proportions, discreet detailing, traditional shape and size, but that dial means that this is never going to be an anonymous watch. Now, it bears mentioning that this watch is sort of the middle child of a series that started with the Rolex Air King 5500 in the mid-80s. I've seen them as far back as the early 9 million range, so roughly, roughly early 1987. And then, of course, it continues to this day, albeit no longer with the Air King, because the Air King is a discontinued model as of 2015. In a lot of ways, this watch represents an awesome combination of discontinuity. As you know, it's no longer Domino's Pizza, it's just Domino's. The Air King is no more, and since the late 2000s, the reference 14,000 has not been with us. But the important thing to remember with this watch is that it is made entirely by Rolex. Unlike other promotional Rolex watches that have corporate branding on the dial, this one was actually manufactured by Rolex Geneva for Domino's Pizza. And the watches themselves are considered to be prized collectibles among Rolex collectors with a bit of a postmodernist streak. Because although the watch was originally designed as a reward for hardworking franchisees, so a little bit of a blue collar incentive, when it moves outside of that context, it takes on a completely different meaning. It does become almost like Charles Moore's Piazza d'Italia in New Orleans or John Lennon's psychedelic Rolls Royce. It becomes like Andy Warhol's Campbell soup paintings. It's really something that kind of takes high and low culture and combines it in a strange unitary contradiction. So this watch might be the only Rolex I've ever seen that carries absolutely no baggage of pretense. It's completely disarming, and everyone who's seen this watch around the office couldn't help but crack a smile. This is for the confident, poised, and knowledgeable Rolex owner who really knows his stuff, who knows that this watch was built in-house by Rolex for Domino's, who knows the history of the Domino's Pizza Challenge, who understands that luxury watches are about having fun, and there's nothing more fun than pizza. I don't know where this watch was originally sold, but for those of you who are asking who's responsible for this, perhaps those of you who aren't in on the whole concept of postmodernism, who aren't down with that whole idea of the nod and the wink to modernity, well, who's responsible for this one? I kind of regret to say I might be, because while we don't know where this watch was sold, we do know when it was sold. Originally shipped out for award to a franchisee in the summer of 2009, or 1999, I should say, I recall back in the summer of 1999, um, my friend and I probably ordered about 20 Domino's pizzas in the space of eight days in late July, and that's when this watch shipped out. So my apologies to the Cognoscenti out there, but this particular Rolex Domino's Pizza Challenge Special Edition might be my doing. All the same, it is worth considering on its own horological terms, postmodernism aside, and the Domino's connection notwithstanding. This is the Rolex. Air King 14,000, part of the no longer produced Rolex Air King model line. This watch, 34 millimeters, has the classic profile of a Rolex Oyster, but it's more wearable, it's more delicate in its detailing, and more traditional even than the Datejust. Just a dial without a date, the fact that you have that Domino's Pizza splayed at an angle across the index at 6 o'clock makes it even more of a standout in contrast to the simplicity of the watch itself. There have been several generations of these. This one, in my opinion, is the most attractive. The initial 5500 featured the Domino's Pizza 
sort of straight up with the blue and the red lines of the logo running horizontally. It turned on sort of a diamond angle for the middle run during the 1990s through the early to mid-2000s, and then superseded by the six-digit Air King, it became a detail of the oyster bracelet itself with the Domino's marquee removed from the dial. It became a little pressed-in fitting on one of the links of the bracelet. To me, I would rather have the dial, and here's why. All of the collectability of vintage Rolex is built around originality of the dial. It's true there are other factors, but for the most part, when we talk about red submariners, when we talk about gilt dial, chapter ring, two lines, four lines, when we talk about double red sea dwellers, we're talking about dial details. The only difference between a Paul Newman and a standard mid-60s Rolex Daytona is that dial. And when you look at the Domino's Pizza Rolex Air King, if you want something that is truly the ultimate combination of everything that makes a collectible Rolex and the impossible contradiction of a pizza logo on a Swiss luxury watch, you want the Rolex-made Domino's Pizza dial. To me, this is the ultimate era of the ultimate irony. So if you want to see this Rolex Air King Domino's Pizza, you need to check it out on our website, watchyouwant.com. Everything about the watch, save that one detail, is pure Rolex. From the automatic winding caliber 3000 to the 100 meter water resistant oyster case to the oyster bracelet itself and clasp, this is a Rolex through and through, but it's one that doesn't take itself too seriously. If you're the kind of guy who says, I could never wear a Rolex because of the pretense, because of the baggage, this might be the one for you. Not just a rarity and a collectible, it's possibly the most fun-loving, disarming, and universally appealing Rolex outside of watch cognoscenti circles. This is a watch that's guaranteed to provoke smiles. And if you're the confident type who knows his stuff and doesn't mind laughing with the joke, the bottom line is this just may be the watch you want.